You're watching WIAT CBS 42 News. Here's a sweet story for you on Valentine's Day Eve. A Tuscaloosa, a Tuscaloosa woman goes into labor on the way to the hospital on the side of a busy road. Luckily, help was on the way. It was one of those really cold mornings. It was probably in the mid 40s. Off duty firefighter Lieutenant Steve Zark was out running errands when he rolled up on something he wasn't expecting. If somebody needs help, I'm going to do what I can. It's just uh, the feeling that I had. And so I rolled my window down and said, uh, Is everything okay? You know, can I help you out? It was a car parked in the grass, and inside, Kim Johnson was ready to give birth. That was the fastest delivery I ever had, and I got other kids. And by the time we was headed to the hospital, she just kept on asking, Do I do we need to pull over? Do we need to call the paramedics? I just kept thinking I could make it to the hospital. I ain't make it. <laughs> Zark introduced himself and said he was a firefighter. Other people had stopped uh, asking if I needed help, and I could hear the, the mother in law uh, behind me saying, Oh, he's a fireman, it's okay. But Zark is on the hazmat crew. That's why I was like, Okay. I was like, But there's no fire in this car. <laughs> and while he's a trained EMT, he never delivered a baby. I thought I was hearing wrong when he told me. He told me that when, um, he, after everything had to happen. Within about a minute, and after a smooth delivery, baby Braylon had arrived, and rescue crews arrived. Wished her well. I said, I hope everything works out okay, and I went on about my day. But later, Zark couldn't keep his busy day to himself any longer, and he told his wife. They went to the hospital to visit. They came and saw me, and he just, I guess he was just so worried. He got a good heart. He came, they came out, and they, they checked on, on me and the baby. I think I started crying because <laughs> it touched me for him to, you know, to still be worried about us. And several weeks later, a gift arrived. His first little fire truck from the man that rescued us. I said, he might be a firefighter. You never know. <laughs> and today is Baby Braylon's one month birthday. This is also Lieutenant Zark's anniversary month with the fire department. He's been there for 19 years now.